Shalom. Kahalayim la. Ella hey now we have a Bahashem we have a Shah Bahashem Rakadash. This is Daniel seven and twenty five. It says, I'm sorry, verse twenty four says, and the ten horns of this kingdom are ten kings that sh that shall arise, and another shall rise after them, and he shall be diverse from the first, and he shall sh subdue three kings. And all of those kingdoms in that is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. And some of those, um, some of those consist of um, the European nations and the Soviet Union. I'm not sure if the U.S. and Israel is in um, is in there, but I do know that uh, that some European countries are in the Ten Horns and the. Um, the uh the Soviet Union might be in there, so don't quote me on that. I had to do another video, but I'm just continuing on with this. So, um, but just for yeah, for the sake of this video, they are they are Edomites, the ten horns. So then it says twenty five, and he shall speak great words. He is Esau, Edom, so called white man, against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Who are the saints of the Most High? Um, the Israelites, the so called um uh, Negro, Latino, Native American. The saints of the Most High and think to change the times, to think to change times and laws. So, I mean, and he did that. He said, it says, think to change times and laws. How they change the times. If you, I'm going to go to, I'm going to search. What calendar do we use? It says the Gregorian calendar is the, mo is the calendar used in most of the world. And why is that? You go to Job 9 and 24. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covered the face of the judge thereof. If not, where and who is he? So, um, uh, 25, it says, and think to change the times. So he changed the times because if you look, a lunar calendar month is 29.53 days. And a regular month off the Gregorian calendar is 28 to 31 days. So I think the year... A year is like maybe it might be like two more days or three more. It's more days than what it actually is, what the most high created it to be a year. So it says think to change um, the laws as well. So I'm going to grab Ecclesiasticus one and one. Yeah. So this is Ecclesiastes 1 and 1. I'm going to skip down a little bit. So it says, Wherefore, not only the readers must be must needs become skillful themselves, but also they desire to learn, be able to profit them, which are without both by speaking and... Hold on, skip some more. So it says, For the same things uttered in Hebrew... All right, no. Wherein we may seem to come short of some words which we have labored to interpret for the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them and not only these things but the law itself and the prophets and the rest of the books have no small difference when they are spoken in their own language so it says but the law itself not only that have we interpret not only have the prophets labored to interpret um Labor to interpret uh, some words, but it says also, I'm paraphrasing with this, so it says also, um, uh, the law, hold on, slack here. It says, for the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them. And now, so things said in another language don't have the same power or force in them. As we see right here, it says, but the law itself, the prophets and the rest of the books have no small difference. So the law, um, when it's changed from its native tongue, the words and the law have a different meaning. And um, Esau, Edom, you know, King James was a, was a, a brown man who was an Israelite, but uh, Esau, Edom was behind the uh, the scriptures being changed into English. So, um, so like in English, 
some of the meanings have uh, some of the words have different meanings, you know, because the Bible is translated from Hebrew to Greek to English. So some of those words like in the New Testament, it'll be in Greek, but it was translated to English. So in Greek, it has a different meaning than what it actually uh, appears to be like for face value. So that's how that, that w it was changed. And um, that's how it was changed. And from the law so the gregorian calendar calendar changed the times and the translation from one language to another changed the laws some of the laws and it says and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times so he's appointed to a certain time so then it says and the dividing of the time so what is the dividing of the time so Esau Edom has a certain, he, their earth is given to the hand of the wicked, as we just read. So he's appointed to, uh, he has bounds that he cannot pass, roughly paraphrasing. So it says it's going to be this way. We're going to be going off of this uh, type of time and everything is going to be fucked up, basically, until the dividing of the time. And right here, 2 Ezra 6 in um, verse 7. It says, then answered I, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? So parting means divide. We just read divide, the dividing of the times, basically. Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of the second or the beginning of it that, that followeth. And he said unto me from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So that's the dividing of the time, as we see right here in Second Ezra 6 and 7, parting, the parting of asunder of times. And, you know, just for uh, more support, this says, this says, this is, uh, Ecclesiasticus 43 and 7, it says, for 43 and 6, it says, he made the moon also to serve in her season for the declaration of times. So a moon marks a month. It marks, um, actually, hold on, I'm going to finish this. It says, from the moon is a sign of feast, a light that decreases in her perfection. So the moon marks feast, holy days, and everything else. A, a day, a day as another brother went into a day starts from the evening to that next evening. That's a whole day right there. So then it says, um, moon. Okay. So moon, the moon marks months as well. So moon etymology, the word month comes from moon. So why exactly what would be, why exactly what would be, um, going off of this, this off time because as we see in Daniel seven twenty five, they changed it to the Gregorian calendar. So then it says, Old English Mona, uh, Germanic, Germanic origin related to Dutch man, Germanic mind also to month from Indo Indo European root shared by Latin menaces, Greek men month also Latin metre to measure the moon. The moon being used to measure time. <laughs> and it's on Google. Man. Evil E crazy, man. That's crazy. And, and you know, that, that, that further uh, proves the point. Because um, this says. Oh, shit. This says seven. Okay. He made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of times and a sign of the world. And right here, you go to Google, it says the moon being used to measure time and it does measure time. But you, see, the Gregorian calendar, doesn't, the, the Gregorian calendar does not go off of the moon. It goes off of, uh, I think, the sun. And this is on their This is on their um, this is on their uh, on their own search engine. And this, this goes back to I think it's. Psalm 64 and 6, his own tongue falls upon himself, man. This, and then that goes back to Babel. It's confusion, man. Here you got on your own search engine, it says the moon is being measured to use time. And the Bible says that. But then you we going off of another calendar, man. That's fucking confusion. It's ridiculous. So then it says, um,
All right, so I'm going to finish out Daniel 7 and 25. It says, or 26 says, but the judgment shall sit. I'm going to get this in another version. All right. Let me, see, let me see if I... All right, so when we see the word judgment, it says the judgment, but the judgment sh shall sit and they shall take away his dominion. Who is they? It's talking about the elect to consume and to destroy it until the end. The kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the saints of the most high, to the people of the saints of the most high, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominion shall serve and obey him. Hither to, hither, hit, yeah, hit. Hith Erta, hither, hitherto, yeah, is the end of the matter. As for me, Daniel, my cog, cogitations much troubled me, and my countenance changed in me, but I kept the matter in my heart. In, in my heart. So it says, judgment shall sit, and they shall take away his dominion. Judge, judge is again talking about um, the Israelites, the Negro, Latino, Native Americans of the one third. And some more, uh, another translation to further prove this. It says, um, then the heavenly court, the heavenly court will sit 